Welcome back to Bike Geeks, and I have here for you another way to mount your phone to your handlebars of your bike. Well, welcome back to Bike Geeks, guys. So today I have another um, quad lock competitor, I guess is maybe the best way to put it. And this is M4's bike kit. Um, essentially, it's it's an engineered in Germany, um, although it's made in China like most things are, mount for your bike. Um, you get cases for your phone. You can also get an adhesive piece, uh, piece that actually can go on the back of basically any hard-sided case. Um, but this is actually specifically designed for the iPhone 11. Pro, so this is the iPhone 11 Pro kit. Um, the nice thing about this is it's very easy to adjust, very quick and easy to latch on. It actually uses metallic hardware, um, and, and I like it. I like a lot of things about it. There are some downsides to it, like any product out there. Um, so whether or not this is for you is once you know it's up to you. But let's bring the video in real quick. I'll show you here. Then we're gonna go on the bike and show you how it actually is on the bike, and then we'll finish up. Okay guys, so in the box, uh, it's just a simple box. You have a tray that has your case that comes in here, and then underneath that tray is where the actual bike mount is. Um, we're gonna go out on the side on the bike and actually show you the more how, how it actually goes on real quick and easy. Uh, but essentially you have two pieces here. You have obviously where the bar goes through, right? So it clamps on the bar. You have a backside adjustment and a front side adjustment. The front side adjustment is your final adjustment. That's just tightening it up on the bar with this wing nut kind of thing. On the back side, we can actually adjust how big of a diameter of bar it's going to attach to and that's all with this set screw right here. It is an allen bolt however um, it's just quick and easy adjust so like what I usually what I've been doing is if I push on it I can then grab it easier and then adjust real fast uh, how tight or how loose it needs to be um, to base on how big a diameter it is. There are quick adjust settings that'll tell you uh, right here how big of it a bar from what 22 to 32 millimeters so it'll have that quick adjust so you can go off that to get at least get in the ballpark um, and then you wrap it around the bar and then you bring the wing nut down and then you tighten it to basically to tight to home right there is on both sides rubber pieces here so it does grip on really good i haven't actually noticed it loosening up too much on my bike um, on my bar um, i've tried to stay away from the taper of the bar as best i can um, we'll actually do it on the taper a little bit on the video here. On the face where the actual phone adjusts, there are four magnets. These are neodymium, neodymium, neodymium magnets, there we go. And then these grippers, these four grippers, uh, are metal. They're, they are actual metal teeth here. And those metal teeth actually grab onto the back plate these, these four locations. One, two, three, four. So they actually hook on to that little tooth right so if you're at an angle they're just in the open space and then when you set back down in boom she grips onto those four and now this is a metal plate as well those teeth there are metal not plastic so you have very few things that you're going to see that go wrong um so when you actually come in on it you can see here um once it sets down and you have to you have to come in at an angle a sl even a slight angle will work and then it locks down into place and then it doesn't give up right it is actually metal and then there is a locking piece and i'll show you on the bike as well this guy here will lock it so it can't come off if you don't have it locked uh, i actually ride with it unlocked 90 percent of the time so far um you it the magnets work great um and you can actually rotate it right every 90 degrees and it's set and then at 90 degrees when it locks back in i have not actually had it slip off um potentially it could um, because especially if you have it at a 45 it's actually at a spot where it can easily i mean it's the furthest away from the magnets it's going to be um, which is going to be the easiest spot so but if you have your hand on it, it's not a big deal and so as long as you're in those 90 degree positions it's not going anywhere unless you hit something that's going to bump it out of that 90 degree so but that's what the locks for so let's go over to the bike let's take a peek at it show you on the bike how, I, how i've been using it and uh yeah we'll go from there so here we are outside, and I got my handlebars here, and you can see where I have the mount currently mounted. I have a, you know, I have, currently I do have a bicycle computer. I have my GoPro mount here. I have my bell here, um, a couple of which I have reviews coming up for. But for the phone mount itself, 
Right now I kind of have it spaced in between the GoPro mount and the bell. And of course you can move it around. And the nice thing about it is, it's you don't have to have tools uh, to adjust it. So you can quickly and easily pop it off. The set screw here that can adjust between the various bar diameters, uh, the nice thing is you can kind of just pop it up and grab it with your fingers. You don't have to have, now it is an Allen bolt, but you don't have to have an Allen bolt with you to do it. Um, so you can adjust this all by hand and move it closer to the center if you need to. So you can you, know, you kind of work it out. Oh, nope, I need to go a little looser there. So um, let me put here. It just takes a minute. You know, obviously if you have an, an Allen wrench that fits it, great. Um, all depends on what you have with you at the time. A little more. But they do have those millimeter diameters that they are roughly designed for written on there. So right now I'm probably at a 28 or so. So whatever, let's go down just a little bit just to do it a little bit closer here. But of course you you know you want to keep in mind that the phone's gotta be is wider than the mount. And on top of that you gotta be able to turn it to get it off. So here my iPhone 11 with the case on and it is magnetic so um, you know once you set it on there you'll, you'll kind of find its its spot uh, and then once she's on you can literally lift the bike up with this thing because it is magnetic but it is these clasps here these four clasps as well as the back the four clasps that it actually grabs onto are metal they're actually metal so um, when these magnets grab onto that metal back um, you can feel it and you have to kind of go in at that you know small angle to pop it onto place but what she's popped on she's set and then on the bottom here there's a clip that essentially these two teeth come pop up which set um, one of these prongs so they can't move so once you you get it in this in the position let's see if I can geez there we go and then if I take that orange clip and I move it up now the phone is locked I can't turn it I can't take it off without unlocking it pushing it back down so but if you don't have it locked it is very, very secure, and you can rotate it around. The, even at 45, where it's actually not being held on, I can lift it up. Uh, it's held on really good. So, you know, usually you, you, know, you use that, clisp, that clasp, so if you're on really rough terrain or whichever, um, or if you have it mounted on a motorcycle bar or something like that, rather than a, a bicycle handlebar. So it really comes down to how you're riding. But it is very secure. It allows you to lock it into place and it is adjustable without tools so a couple really really nice things about it um, all in all this versus quad lock there are a couple advantages to each um, the advantage to this is it is metallic it's not a plastic and without locking it in place it's easy to remove it it's easier even though quad locks not hard um, Again, having metallic hardware is fantastic, and I like the magnetic. It grabs it and pulls it in it, so it's a little bit easier to do. Downside is, because it is a metallic plate here, you cannot use a wireless charger. So that would be your downside to this specific mount, is unable to use any wireless charging while you actually have the uh, that specific case on your phone. So, something to keep in mind. I'm getting notifications like crazy. But, all in all, I like the mount. Um, but it's not going to be for everybody. So what do I think of this product? I think it's quite fantastic with a few things or counter notes to that. If you are a person that uses a wireless charger regularly, uh, you're probably at least not going to keep this case on your phone, right? Um, it's, it's nice. I like the case. It's definitely a slimmer case than what you would get uh, if you had a quad lock. So I do actually prefer the case, but the downside is because of that metal plate, which has so many upsides to it, the downside is if you use a wireless charger, you're not gonna be able to do it with this case on. So that's a big downside. Um, but, you know, it, if, it, it, the one thing to say about it, it is very secure. Um, whether you're on a bicycle, a motorcycle, a ATV, anything that has a handlebar that you can attach this to or a bar of some type, um, between 22 and 32 millimeters in diameter, um, this will work quite well. Um, just to show you, and I didn't see it, show you on the video earlier. This is my iPhone 11. Um, it just, you know, it just slips and slides into place, just like any other case. Um, 
and it has a good feel to it. It's a you know a rubberized plastic. So and of course the front is a little harder rubber than I think other cases. The buttons have they're okay. They don't have as tactile feel as I would like as well. So that would be another downside to it. Um, but all in all, really nice mount. I really like this mount. Um, now I do use a wireless charger in my truck from time to time um, because it's built into the truck. And so I can't really use this case nine, you know, all the time. So I kind of use it when I'm, I've, I've been using it while I've been riding. Um, but it's quality. It's, and they do make it in both black, which is what this is, and orange. I had actually originally ordered it in orange. It just didn't come in orange. It came in black. So I had a nice little talk with Amazon on that one. But it works good. Um, I like it. Uh, I purchased this. I didn't ask for this for free so this is something that i physically purchased um and would i do it again as long as i'm not a wireless charger person i would because i would actually prefer to keep this on my phone i actually do like how slim it is i like the case and i do like the mount the downside to it is the wireless charging i have to take my phone in and out of this um when i'm not using it essentially uh and you know there are some uh downsides to the fact that there's not a whole lot of variants of this mount that they make. The nice thing about Quad Lock is they have different offshoots and different mounts, things like that. There are a couple different mounts that they offer. Um, but I want to see more from this company. I do, because uh, I'd like to see an expansion of this. Uh, I'd be willing to give up my wireless charger altogether um, because I do like this backplate. I really, really do. So that said, that is M4's bike kit. Um, I will put a link at the top of the description where you can take a peek. Uh, from there, from that link, even though it'll be a link to this kit, um, you can choose whatever phone you have in that drop down, and you can choose the different colors within there as well. Not every phone, I don't think every phone they have both colors, but I think most of them they do. So check it out at the link at the top of the description. No, no, top of the description. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Po uh, post those below. Subscribe to the channel. Head over to Camp Geeks is actually where you can actually get a hold of me directly. If you go to the bikegeeks.com. It's going to just bring you right here. So. Um, as of right now, campkeys.com, you can actually uh, reach out to me directly. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll catch you back here for a future video review. We'll see you soon.